Check, one, two. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be uh, basically called Waking Up From The Nightmare. It's inspired by a song I was recently listening to that I've had in a rotating playlist that I haven't listened to in a while, but I uh, just recently was going through cleaning up my computer and I ran across it and it, and it was very appropriate for our topic, our lives, and thought I would, uh, would, would discuss this for a moment. But before I do that, I'm Dwayne. If you want to get your life back, break the cycles of abuse, rebuild the relationship with yourself and your kids, start right now by subscribing, ringing the bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so this particular song called, if I double check, is Dead to Me by, by Locks Chatterbox. It's a little kind of weird, more modern. I think one of my kids is the one who actually introduced me to this song. And, and the beginning of the song starts out something like this. It says, and I'm not going to sing it, but I'm going to say, it starts out with, it's like I woke up from a nightmare. And he, and he says that three times. And the next part is, because I finally got away from you. And then it continues on, and one of the other lines I think is really important, and it says, and I'm never going back there if it's the last thing I ever do. I don't remember, I don't know what year this song was made, but one thing I will tell you is there is a ton of pop culture references throughout the years of narcissistic, toxic people being emotionally or physically abusive to people. It's a reoccurring theme. It's like a pattern that we are attempting to right now with all the information that we're able to put out there to start breaking that cycle. I know sometimes whenever you are early in this process, it is real easy to think, oh my God, this is an epidemic and it just started now. Well, that is not really the case. I mean, this song is, is new and there's other songs that I've, I, I've re not reviewed, but I've discussed in the past that talk about the same thing. The big difference today is that we have more information out there to be able to see what's going on, learn about it, take our lives back, take the power away from these toxic people, and learn how not to be a target and or victim of them going forward. Now, the reality is, is that that doesn't necessarily help you <laughs> when you're going through it. <laughs> Whenever you've already been bit by the bug, so to speak, uh, all these things later will make you feel better. Right now, in the early part of it, it really doesn't. But one of the things that I thought was very interesting, especially about this particular song, and it's, it's because I can relate to a lot of the lyrics and a lot of the, the tone in it. And, and that waking, uh, it's like I woke up from a nightmare. I mean, dear God, I felt as if I woke up in the middle of a nightmare. I think a lot of you feel the exact same way. If you do, comment down below. I'd like to do a little poll, or maybe I'll put a poll up in the top card to, uh, to, to see how you guys feel. But I, I, I felt like I was in a nightmare. And then when I, once I broke free, it seemed like that nightmare just freaking enveloped me and wouldn't let me escape. The reality is, is that we do escape. We do have the opportunity to get away from them. But because of our conditioning, for lack of a better word, we are so, so attached to these people that it is really, really tough to let them go so that they can let us go. I don't know if that makes sense, but I know for me, it was really tough 
to get to the point where I just didn't care anymore. Now, in all honesty, there is still, she, my, in my situation, the ex still has a pull on my life because of family court and the way that operates and it limits what you can do. And, and what I mean by, like, I can't move, I can't switch jobs. I can't, I couldn't take a downgrade to something because they're not going to more than likely, if I do it voluntarily, they're going to be like, well, why did you do that? You can't do that. You have to, you know, you have to pay. I know that's kind of triggering for people. So be, you know, that's not my, my intent. Uh, I know that early on, whenever I was going through that, that type of conversation would really get to me. But, but the reality is, at some point, we get to decide, are we, not, not that we decide, it, it's more one of those things that it just, it happens over time to where we get to the point where we just can't do it anymore. We just can't put the energy and, and the bitterness and the hate and, and the emotion into something that is so freaking toxic. There is nothing good that comes from it. It's, it's one of those things where you ultimately one day, and this is what happened with me. I, I, I was in my dark days. I was circling the toilet bowl, so to speak. The light was almost out. Hope was basically gone. I felt incredibly trapped. And I woke up one day and I was just like, I can't do this any more. I just can't. I need this out of my life. That is the pivotal point on this when things really change. It's whenever you realize it isn't worth the fight, that all it's doing is like the more you try to grab them, the more it's the, the whole situation is grabbing you and making it to where you cannot escape that you are stuck to them. You might as well be chained to them and unable to get away. The, the interesting part about this, at least in my mind, I would love to know what you think about this, but it's almost like you're chained together, but you have the key in your hand and that you can't drop the key. Let's say the key is on a little band on your wrist to where it's there. And you're like, I want away. I want to get away from this person. And, and it's like you just have to unlock it. Just, just unlock it and, and, and walk the other way. But it's so hard to get to that point. It is something that is not easy at all to, to arrive at that realization. It took me about three, if I remember correctly, three years to get to, well, maybe, yeah, I think it like three years to get to that point. And then maybe another year to kind of like, you know, detoxify myself. But that, those, that the time up to that point was a freaking nightmare. It was a living nightmare. Now, I mean, I guess you could say now I feel like I woke up from it and oh, hell, I'm not going back there. And I will say that I'm at the point in my life where I do not want any other toxic Stuff, stuff, try to make sure I don't lose my, uh, <laughs> don't get nailed by YouTube again. And I just don't want it. I want peace. I want calm. I want to feel relaxed. I don't want stress and tension and angst in my life. The crazy part about it is, is this whole afternoon has been full of that. Uh, if some of you, if you're on the Discord, I'm, I'm going through a process where I'm trying to, I get an opportunity to upgrade my internet to make it better, which will hopefully help for the channel. You're completely off topic. But just the idea of that and the potential extra costs and having to pay for it, it stresses me out, right? I mean, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I just, one of those, one of those things that it just kind of makes me nervous and I question whether I'm doing the right thing. Bottom line is, other than that, I try to keep things as calm as possible, as serene as possible. I try not to watch things that stress me out, uh, which is really tough. I mean, I'm sure you guys have issues where there's a lot of bad news out there. I listen to a ton 
of meditation music. But I, I tell you, my YouTube playlist, when I, when I get on YouTube, after everything's done and I lay down tonight, uh, the recommended videos, because of the man machine learning, where it's tracking everything you do, is su suggests meditate, like four to 10 hour meditation playlists of one song. Not playlists, but a, a song of just, just kind of like the music I, I put in the video the other day that not everybody liked. <laughs> no music in this video. And, uh, but that's, a, that's the thing, right? I mean, it's like, it's stuff to help me like breathe slower. The tempo's slower. I, I, I can kind of just, just kind of relax and kind of let myself be absorbed by that. Waking up from this nightmare is really difficult to do. It is very easy for other people around you who do not understand to say, you just need to wake up or you just need to move on. You just need to go. You just need to let it be. You, need to, you just need to blah, 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 blah. The reality is, is this is very much like a nightmare. It is very much like that sleep paralysis that we sometimes get. I don't know if you guys have gotten that, but it's not fun. To where you are struggling to try to wake up. And it's in our situation, these, these situations last a long time. And oftentimes, we're fighting or we're in a struggle with our ex, but we're equally in a struggle with ourselves because it's so hard to basically wake up from this nightmare. Now, in these ramblings that I'm doing right now, you might be thinking, well, that's not very positive. But here's the thing. We do wake up from these nightmares. The fact that you're watching videos like this is kind of like shaking the bed to wake you up. You are doing the work right now to get your life back to get out of this nightmare, to regain control of your sanity. Once you do that, once that happens, you realize, like that line I mentioned before, that I am never going back there if it's the last thing I ever do. I'm going to leave you on that. Ponder that. I would love to hear your comments and thoughts about this in the comments below. Uh, I would also, this similar video that I did the other day without the music, would like to know your, uh, your comparison. I'll put a, a link in the card above on that video. Uh, on that, take care of yourself. Take it slow. All of this takes time. It takes time to heal from this. It takes time to get your distance to where you start to regain, really regain your life back. Even if you have a backslide, it's just temporary. You have to work through this. It's part of the normal process. Take care of yourself, and I will chat with you on the next video.